What happens when you give your father two hours notice to go to the airport for a mystery football holiday? This is Thog Dad. He's 56 tomorrow and he's been supporting me on my YouTube dream ever since I started at 14. I felt I owed him a big birthday present and what better than his favorite European club, Borussia Dortmund. Every time I go, I'd get back and he'd text me saying, Theo, you have to take me next time. But telling him the destination would ruin the fun. So I gave him a boarding pass with a blurred location and a barcode to scan in. He knew this is something I would arrange. So he called my phone straight away. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I would pack. Is it hot? Is it cold? What, 2020? I just... I'm going to be waiting at the airport. Either I see you there or I don't. I can't tell you anymore. Goodbye. At this point, I was a bit worried he wouldn't actually come, so I positioned myself at his local station to double check he'd leave to the airport. 30 minutes later, result. There he is, there he is. So I got on to the next carriage and scanned his movements like Ander Herrera on Hazard. When we arrived at the airport, it was time to give him some more information. There he is. London City Airport. Fuck Dad! Fuck Dad, you made it! Oh, you did not. <laughs> what is going on here? You don't know where we're going. You don't know why. All I'm going to say is this. Happy birthday. I want to shake my hand. Cheers, mate. For tomorrow. Yeah, 50, yeah, 56 yeah. years old. Yeah, don't say that. Instead of flying direct to Dortmund, I picked Dusseldorf, so it wasn't obvious on the departure board. Plus, it's only an hour train away. It's in the board. Yes, but the Zurich, board maybe. The board says all sorts. Milan, it says Zurich, Luxembourg, Florence. Florence is boarding, let's go. We've done Florence. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> now you're probably thinking he's gonna realize when you get to the gate. Well, that's where the blindfold comes in. You're wearing these. You expect so I'm in the middle of London City Airport. You expect me to put on a blindfold. Yep. Take okay. me to the gate. Come on, fuck that. Oh my god. Get some stairs in. After a few slips and dodgy looks, we walked up to the plane door where a passenger in front announced the destination. We go to Norway. We go to <laughs> just told me to go to Norway. My next problem was the pilot announcing it on the speakers, so I sat him down and introduced the noise cancelling airports. Now he can't see anything, he can't hear anything. I even whacked on classical music to keep him fired up. Just over an hour later, we landed, where my dad worked out we're across a certain European radius. Going back to Berlin. Berlin, isn't it? Berlin, all right. Berlin. He was getting so frustrated that he asked a stranger. Excuse me, this is a, a weird question. No, 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 you can't cheat that. What are you doing? I just... You can't talk to anyone. Okay. So we headed to the middle of the city, introduced a special guest before finally letting him take off the blindfold. You can right. take it off. This is the moment of truth. Wow. Where are we? Can you name the town? Oh, oh, how did I not know that? This is the way. Turn around. Look, Where I got a surprise Dortmund? for you. I got a surprise Dortmund for you. There? It's German Fog Dad. Oh. <laughs> the man who's looked after me in Dortmund over all these years. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> it's German Fog Dad. Keep that quiet. There we go. Oh, my God. We're Dortmund going to Dortmund again. <laughs> it's the SBI. <laughs> no, it's the yes, you're yes. right. After all of that blindfold, you know what I need? What do you need? A beer. Come on. He was delighted, but me and Ollie weren't done. There was a bunch of surprises lined up throughout the day. You're gonna need this, hey, okay? Thank you, Ollie. But you're still gonna wear a blindfold when you go into the stadium because your seat is a surprise. Is it the best in the house? <laughs> it's not the best in the house. No. We convinced him that he had the worst seat in the stadium, but he just didn't care. Mate, just to be in the ground tonight, that's what it's all about. Little did he know about our surprise upgrade right by the pitch, halfway line, the players even wave at you. Do you know what, Theo? You have come up trumps. This is the dream game for me. What my dad loves more than anything is a beer. Time for our first surprise, the beer knowledge test. Smell test. Smell test. Oh, that smells like Germany. What beer is That's that? That's a Brinkhoff's. It's a Brinkhoff's. It, it tastes like the last day. Come on. Before it was time to head to the real seat, we needed some predictions. 2-1, put on. 2 0 1-1, one, extra one, time. Here is my team. Spy eyes for beer for beer. beer. We got past security, scanned our tickets in. It was time to own up to my dad. We may have lied to you about the worst seat in the stadium. Really? Our second surprise was ready to be revealed. You can now take off your blindfold to your seat. Ready? You are joking. Yellow wall. Little of this. This is amazing. Listen, listen. Wow. His reaction, <laughs> it was simply priceless. From watching my videos and begging to come to actually being there with me. Do you know what this birthday person deserves? What the what? A like. He's right. This challenge wasn't easy to set up, so let's smash the likes of our last video. And you know he's being noisy. Away end. PSV fans ready? What about Dortmund? My dad was simply in awe. We had successfully completed our mission. He was loving his birthday treat. All we need now was a good game of football. Just wait until you see the scenes at the end. Marco Royce! Our third surprise, we got a Dortmund fan to bring us beers to our seat. In England, this is banned. In Germany, it's culture. Happy birthday to Soldat. Happy birthday to you. Knockout stage. Knockout stage. So we have to win today. And in front of this support, they've got a great chance.
whole stadium together, even the away fans. Dortmund fans were buzzing, the pyro began from the away block, and then the players arrived directly below us. Are you ready to hear that Champions League noise? Respect to PSV, they came in numbers and welcomed their team in no better fashion. Kick off, the first leg ended 1-1, so it was all to play for. First kick of the game, Bakioka made a mistake for Matsun. Ooh, great save. What a save. First chance to get two Second minute, the pressure continued from the left flank. After a poor clearance away from Julian Brandt, he held up the ball and laid it off to... Sancho. Is that... Dad with the birthday luck. Just three minutes in, we had action. The whole yellow wall bouncing together in synchrony. Jaden again, bringing out the skills. Put a ball in, but they couldn't oh. find a way. Oh! Jaden Sancho with space, you never give him space. He's beating one. Good skill, but unlucky there. The support was firing up the players as they continued to pile on great chances. Perfect ball in. Donnie Mallon now. To beat his man. Oh. Jaden's cross was too far and the referee called it half time. So let's review some scram. From the Grillmeister, what would you pick? I went bold with a curry crack hour. Set me back just 490. Solid, cheap, 7 out of 10. The football was back underway and with one goal in it, it was all to play for. I feel the Dortmund win is coming. Lozano with a strike. Oh. The shocked faces were justified. That was the best chance for the game. Both stands on each side of us kept the loud support. <laughs> On the pitch, chances were flying. The goal scorer Jaden Sancho felt a muscle and didn't risk it. Could Dortmund's old boy secure the win? The old man back in town. Can Marco Royce put the ball in? To win Dortmund, the fixture! Yes! Yes, he can! As they celebrate in front of the Dutchman. Dortmund 2, PS3 is done. Come on, bring it home. Dortmund in front. Marco Royce with the cross. Celebrations were wild. The problem was an ongoing check from VAR. No way. I don't believe this. Back to a one goal difference. It just needed one chance for PSV to bring this game to extra time. Even a pitch invader ran on to pitch use as invader. much time as possible. Pitch invader Dortmund, will it help play the clock down? Fogdad was seeing it all for his birthday. Wow. Last kick of the game. A mistake in the defence, but for who, Chris Kamara? Yeah! This man was loving it as much as Dog Dad after the game for our final surprise. The final whistle went as they announced the goal scorer. It's full time. Hero of the game. Respect to PSV, their fans stuck till the end and stood strong with their players. But my dad was simply in awe of the yellow wall, the scenes, the players and fans all as one. Little did he know though, we had one final surprise for him. Bog dad 56. Dogs have 56. Dormant have signed you dad. That They've seen your goalkeeping skills. Bruh. Thank you so much, that is beautiful. A perfect surprise and even better ending for the man who supported me throughout my life. Remember to always be grateful and give back to the people that have helped you the most. Happy birthday dad. If you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy this one as well. All the best.